So can you learn how to drop ship from TikTok? Let's find out. What's up everyone, Paul here from dropshippingtitans.com where I teach regular people just like you how to start your first dropshipping store. Now I've been doing this now, dropshipping, for over five years. I have a ton of experience with it, but I see all these people making TikToks claiming to show you how to dropship in about one minute. So I wanna look at some of these videos and see if the advice they're giving is legit or if the whole thing is just totally cringe. Let's check it out. How I drop shipped 100 products from Alibaba to eBay in two minutes using my iPhone today. Okay, so right away, I'm pretty skeptical about this because people don't use Alibaba to drop ship. They use AliExpress. And even with AliExpress, the items are coming from China, which is something I really don't recommend that you do. There are plenty of US-based suppliers that you can use. The customers will get their items much faster and will be happier. So I wouldn't use AliExpress or Alibaba, but let, let's see if I'm wrong. As you can see, I've made a few sales, but we are now focusing on the infinity cube. I sold 100 infinity cubes for 270 pounds. I'm not going. Wait, what did he do? Oh, he sold a pack of 100 for 270 pounds. Okay, interesting. To lie, this one made me feel real excited. Now let's look at how much I'm buying it for with shipping fees. I'm buying each one for 90 cents plus $50. Okay, so in this case, this could work because Alibaba, you really have to buy more in bulk, which is actually exactly what he's doing. But either way, I would not be using AliExpress or drop shipping from China in general, especially as a beginner. You're gonna run into a lot of trouble and customers are not gonna be happy when it takes weeks for their items to arrive. When I started this journey at 17 to becoming a millionaire, I promised myself I'd be honest to all my followers about all the ups I have as well as all the downs I have. So as you can see, Yes, I appreciate it. that you know, be honest about what's going well and what isn't going well. It's what I always try to share on this YouTube channel. I share the wins as well as kind of the problems I run into. So let's see the problem he ran into. It looks like he is drop shipping on eBay, which is what I do. So let's I had a request for a return from one of my customers about a product I drop shipped to them. And to be completely honest, the only person to blame is myself. So basically what happened when I was listing my product, I listed it as the wrong color. So I said it was charcoal black where actually it was silver. All right, so a return really isn't a big deal. I know you kind of frame this as a downside of drop shipping, but any type of e-commerce, you're going to have returns. And if you're doing something like drop shipping, the returns are actually very, very simple because if you bought that item from Walmart or a retail supplier, or even a wholesale supplier, all you have to do is contact them, let them know you want to return the item. And usually you will get a free prepaid return label that you can then give to your buyer who can then ship the item directly back to the supplier. And you never have to touch or handle the inventory at all. Now you said the mistake you made here was that you listed it with the wrong color. Yeah, I guess that is, a, that is on you. That is a mistake you've made, but that's pretty easy to avoid just by being more diligent during the listing process. Staying on top of that stuff is really important so that your customers, you know, exactly like you're saying, getting exactly what they want. But you know, mistakes do happen. It's not a big deal. I didn't know the color because I'd never actually ordered the product myself, which learning from this in future, what I'm going to do is I'm going to order one of every product I list before I list it so then I can write better descriptions and at least I'll know a oh, bit. That's that's, that's not necessary at all. And this stuff like this rarely happens where you're just kind of off on the color. If I were to order every single item I've had listed in my drop shipping stores ever, I would have way too much stuff in my house. It's not necessary at all. You just gotta be on top of making sure that your listings are accurate and looking at the exact product description on the supplier's website. Yeah, about my product before I start selling it. So it's a learning curve at the end of the day, but that's one of the downsides to drop shipping. If you don't order for product to yourself, you don't actually know what you're selling and you never actually see mm -hmm. it. So you could be selling something for customers that isn't actually true. Yeah, I, I would have to disagree with that one because if you're using a reputable supplier, most good retail suppliers like Walmart that you work with, for instance, and any good wholesale supplier, they're going to have accurate descriptions. And if you rely on that and transfer it over correctly, you're gonna be fine. The issue comes in when you're drop shipping, let's say from Walmart, they might have three different colors it's available in. You have to make sure that you write down 
found the correct color that you're actually selling, unless you are selling all of them, in which case you have to specify that. But as long as you're using a reputable supplier, you're gonna know exactly what you're ordering. All right, this one I'm really interested in because this guy, the Financial Wolf, is someone that I follow on YouTube. I think he's a really, really great YouTuber. So let's My see what he has My roommate called here. me broke. Broke. So I decided to build the best eBay dropshipping business ever. To start, I picked 40 random products from Walmart that also were Solid. selling on eBay like this. And I listed them on eBay for about a 30% markup. Oh. Okay, so cool. You have product research, kind of the general aspect of how it works down. Most people, they'll just go into Walmart, pick some random items and just list them up for sale on eBay. That doesn't really work. You wanna do exactly what you said. You wanna find items that are already selling well on eBay and then go ahead and sell those same items or substantially similar items. That's for any supplier that you use, including Walmart. Over the next two weeks, sales came in like crazy. $1,670 in sales. Now, obviously most of that isn't profit. eBay fees added 10%, product cost and shipping added another $1,064. Leaving me with a profit of $439.26. And hey, that's it's not bad for just your first three weeks doing eBay drop shipping as a complete beginner, already having over $400 in profit. I mean, there's a proof right there that it works as long as you're willing to put in the time to actually learn how to do it. Yo, I just found this tool that lets you steal hot selling product ideas from eBay users. I like the sound of this. Let's check it out. So I was on eBay browsing for LED light bulbs and I found this seller right here, Everyday Gadgets. Dang. He has a lot of sales. I basically took their username, copy and pasted it into this tool, Z and it generated analytics. all their sales. So this is a tool that I use as well. I absolutely love it. And I use it the exact same way he's showing in this video. Their sell-through rate, their active listings, sold items, and even their monthly revenue. It also gives you a breakdown of all their listings and items that they're selling with their 30-day sales and total amount sold with the price. If we click on our light bulb, you can see that 1300 were sold. And if we want to source this item, just click on that button and it directs us to Alibaba where we can buy this product for $11 each. Input this into your profit calculator and there you go. Yeah, I absolutely love that tool for the all that data it gives you is absolutely amazing. Like I said before, I don't really use AliExpress or Alibaba, but you can use that for any supplier, whether that's again, retail or wholesale supplier, it'll work just the same. That, that's a great video, I love that one. Make over $100 a day by copying and pasting information onto eBay. First, go to eBay. I mean, basically, that's how eBay dropshipping works. You're literally just copying things from your supplier onto eBay, and then when it sells, you're copying the address from eBay and sending it to your suppliers, copy and paste. And look for an item that is already selling a lot. Like for example, this one. Now, you're gonna go to Walmart, for example, and look for the same item, and of course, it's selling at a lower price now go back okay so this kind of misses a step because you're not just going to look on ebay for like the most popular selling item on ebay because that person might not be drop shipping that item might not be available to drop ship so first you have to find your supplier and then match up items that they're selling with items being sold on ebay but doing it this way backwards is going to take a lot of time it's a faster way to ebay create a new listing copy and paste information from Wall and this step too what he's doing is he's copying everything from Walmart and manually copying and pasting over to eBay. Yes, that works, but it takes a long time. We actually have a Chrome extension. You click one button and it will copy and paste everything over for you so that the listing process takes about one second instead of a couple of minutes. Walmart, the pictures, the titles, the descriptions, and of course, you're gonna set it at a higher price like this, so you're gonna make it. And the Chrome extension sets the price as well. I'll have that Chrome extension linked up down below because that is one that my team has developed and is available if you want to use profit it. now just click list item and you're gonna have a beautiful new listing on ebay now once beautiful. you get a sale you're going to go back to walmart you're going to add the item to your car and for the shipping information you're going to use the shipping information that the buyer gave you on ebay and they will send it to the buyer that's a pretty good description and overview of how ebay drop shipping works yeah it's completely hands off which i love that walmart's just going to send it all over for you oh another one from financial wolf let's check out this 500 dollars in two days these are my first two days of sales basically i'm taking products from other websites like this and i'm listing them on ebay for more money this item actually ended up selling and i made 30 dollars profit nice yeah 30 dollars profit one item pretty cool all right so some great tiktoks right there some 
meh, which is okay. But if you guys want to learn exactly how I've set up and run my own eBay dropshipping business, now that I've been doing this for over five years, I have a full course that explains exactly how to do this. It's called eBay Dropshipping Titans. You can find it linked up down below or just go to dropshippingtitans.com and check it out. Otherwise, if you're just here for the free content, make sure to check out this video right here where I teach you how to do product research. And I'll see you over there in just a second.